am here to film my year-end beauty review. So I've done, I think, two of these. I did 2013, and then 2015. I missed 2014 because that was the year that I was getting married. And so now I'm here to do 2016. And I have to say that I did not cover all categories, so I don't have a favorite foundation, and I don't have a favorite eyeshadow, but um, I have a lot of other good things. So. Um, yeah, here are my 27, 2016 beauty favorites. And going with the order that I apply things to my face, uh, the first thing, the first favorite is sunscreen. This is a recent favorite and I feel like I'm doing something for myself when I put it on. So if you don't wear sunscreen yet, just recommend either having a, a daily moisturizer that has sunscreen in it or adding the extra step or doing something, especially if you're using certain face products. Um, that's why I started using sunscreen because I'm using a, a retinol and it really um, makes my face sensitive to the sun. So I've been using sunscreen every day and I definitely think that's been a huge it's not even an improvement but it's a preventative act. So sunscreen, I use Aveeno 50 for my face. Then the next favorite is the Nivea Balm, Shave Balm, and it's a favorite for both David and I. David uses it every single morning. I keep it on top of my vanity, and he puts it on, and it, so I love it because he has, like, this big old beard, and it helps, like, moisturize his face because he's not really into, like, lotions or moisturizers, something with the... I don't know, he doesn't like the texture or something, but he will use that. And then I also use it because um, I use it underneath makeup, and it's another layer of moisturizer. It is another just, I don't know, it helps. I don't use a primer, I use that instead. So I put on my sunscreen first, and then I put on my Nivea, and then I put on my Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector, and it might seem like a lot of steps before foundation, but... I have really dry skin and so I really need the help with the moisturization and also like I want dewy skin. So these three steps really, really have helped me in terms of like getting more glowing from within skin. So the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector and I think it's in Opal and I do a few dots across my face and then rub that in and that's all before foundation. So to apply my foundation, my favorite thing to apply it with is a beauty blender. If you don't have a beauty blender, never use a beauty blender, I highly, highly, highly recommend it. There's just, there's nothing like it. And um, I also, in going with the beauty blender, I recommend getting the a beauty blender cleaner. It's like a little soap, round soap thing, and I use it for all my brushes. I've been using it for a couple months, and I love it. I, I need to get a new one. There's a hole in the middle now, and I think they're $16, but I'm totally down to buy that because I love it so much. It cleans the brushes and the beauty blender so well and it's just something that's really good to have. And then after I put on my foundation, I am using the Urban Decay uh, concealer and I've been really, really liking that. The one that I have now is a little bit too dark for my skin, so um, especially in the winter. So. I'm going to go back and get a lighter a lighter shade, but I really just like the consistency. I think it keeps, it doesn't, it's not drying is the biggest thing for me. Um, I don't really get a lot of acne, so I use it mainly for underneath my eyes. Um, so yeah, I've been loving that, uh, that concealer, the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer, I think is what it's called. Right after I apply my concealer, I set my concealer with a powder. It just makes it feel like it stays in place all day and doesn't kind of slip and slide through uh, all over my face. And I've been using this hourglass powder that I got at the beginning of 2016. My friend gave me a gift card to Sephora and I knew exactly what I wanted and it was this hourglass trio which is randomly expensive but I can't even tell you how much I love the powder. It brightens the face and it's not, I mean I don't use it as a highlighter but I think it really just like glow, it's very glowy. You can kind of see, see a theme here in like what kind of products I love. I love glowy, dewy um, products. So the Hourglass Trio and I mainly use the one in the middle which I can't remember the name but I will put like what the name is right here. 
Um, and I love that one. So if I had to buy just one of them, I'd definitely buy the middle one. And I apply that with a Morphe brush. And I bought these after watching a video by Jaclyn Hill where she talks about all of her favorite brushes or Morphe brushes. I can't remember what exactly it was. But I bought like three of the brushes that she recommended because Morphe is not that expensive. And to have a nice brush is something that's just... You can't really compare anything to it. So I've been using this Morphe. It's a Morphe M438 brush and I love it. I, I want multiple of them because it's perfect to set the under eye concealer and then it also would be perfect as like a contour brush but I only use it for the setting my under eye powder just because I don't want to like wash it every time even though I probably should <laughs> wash it every time. But I love that brush. If you're gonna get one brush, if it, you're not looking for an eyeshadow brush, that face face brush is so good. So after I apply, after I um, set my under eyes, then I go on to contour and bronzer and that kind of thing. I've been using the Laguna bronzer and I use it as more of a contour. It's okay. I, I really like it because um, it's a good color for me. But once I'm out of it, I probably won't repurchase it. But I, I'll keep you guys updated. <laughs> and then for blush, I've been loving the Wet n Wild Mellow Wine Blush. And I got that when it was a new drugstore release. I think it's like a dollar or two dollars. And it's just really nice color. It's really, really pigmented. As you can see, like I applied way too much. And then I just went over it with my beauty blender. And then, um, yeah, had to had to take a little bit off. But I really do love that blush. And then for my... Uh, eyeballs a couple of things that are not really producty but just something that I've been doing since I I love my eyelash eyelash extensions that definitely has to be part of my 2016 beauty favorites I love them they're just so easy and I, I love the person who does them and I had a little bit of a rocky start but ends up being fine but I haven't really been wearing bottom mascara and I haven't really been wearing any sort of eyeshadow. When I do wear eyeshadow I have been using the Black Radiance eyeshadow primer four dollars. They don't sell it at every single Wal Walgreens so look it up to see which Walgreens by you sells it but literally the best thing it's like glue so when I do wear eyeshadow like I'm wearing today um, I put that on before and then sometimes I rub it up into my eyebrows and it just stays like glue so highly recommend the black radiance primer so then for eyebrows I've been using the benefit eyebrow duo eye browsing and um, I like it I more use it because I have it and I want to use it up it's powder and gel uh, as a two-in-one and so it's nice I, I do I do like it um, and it's just a good solid eyebrow product and then finally moving on to lips I this is a brand brand new favorite and it's something that I've just been savoring every single time I put it on but it's a lip liner by Charlotte Tilbury and it's in the color pink Venus and it's called the a lip cheat. So you line a little bit just outside of your natural lips, which sometimes I do, sometimes I don't, but I can fill in the entire lip with that and just wear that. Or um, my other favorite is the Chanel Boy Lipstick, which is just a classic. You can wear it every single day. It's so comfortable to wear. It's so balmy and nice and I love the color. And yeah, it's just one of my favorite lip products of 2016. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any recommendations, please let me know. I love makeup and I love playing around with different things and things I think I want to look into 2017 are, like I said, the foundation and finding, I think, maybe a new eyebrow routine. I need to get them threaded. I need to deal with my eyebrow situation, but that's definitely something that I need to look into. So thank you again so much for watching, and I will see you soon with a new one.